Bao Ning Komo Tutawa is good, my people. Today, we are reacting to the scariest videos found on the internet, my people. This compilation is brought to us by, by, by our resident scary comp guru. I don't know what to expect, but with how many views this video has, I, I'm, I'm terrified. It has to be good. It has to be terrified. But anyway, I'm hyping it up. Before we get into this reaction, my people, do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button, the notification bell. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Dolly. <gasps> that ain't no way. A TikTok user. Hold up. I'm sorry. Um, how how can your mother, right, fight whatever whatever was going on in that? Like, let me know down in the comments below because it's like I'm sorry. Like I'm leaving my mother behind and I'm I'm running away. <laughs> let me stop it. Oh, my mother watches my video, so let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Let's continue. Or some demon captured something weird. I'm gonna run it back so that we, we can uh, hear the whole clip. <laughs> A TikTok user, some demon captured something weird. What's that with the open mouth situation? That's the part I'm not. Why is everybody mouth? Something peculiar catches our attention in the video. A woman exhibiting behavior that doesn't seem quite human. I'm curious to know your thoughts on whether it's genuine or stage. Feel free to share in the comments section below. I think this one is staged. The following video is from a TikTok user, Danny Tumia, who was out for a night walk with his son when he recorded something really scary. Windows are broken out, graffiti all over it. There might be a hole underground that leads right to the sewer because, you know, Rowan's got his pinwheel and he loves it. Man, I'm telling you, there's something in there. I mean, Rowan can smell it. I mean, Daryl. Daryl can smell it. What is it, Daryl? Oh. What is that? And Rowan hears it. You know, look at him. Then my phone tweaks out of nowhere. And then this happened. Oh, my light went out. Whoa. What is that? It's weird. My light went out. What is it, Daryl? I can't see. What is it? What is that? Oh! Nope, I'm out. While taking a walk at night, something grabs their attention. The boy leans over a drain grate, and suddenly their phone's flashlight stops working. Then hands, presumably belonging to something or someone, emerge from the bars. Frightened, they quickly flee. So, what do you think? Is this real or fake? So, because... The hands actually like, touched the kid's foot, unless it's like really good CGI. I think there was actually somebody down there, or some were people down there, because like we looked down there and it was like an actual like you know drain hole. But also too, the lights went out and it was dark, so they could have just like swapped out. I don't know, my people. I don't know, but like I, I feel like there are people like living in the sewers. Um, you know, maybe like homeless folk that are, you know, living down there, you know, to get shelter and stay warm and, and whatnot. Uh, so I think it is a possibility. Um, but also too, did, did you guys notice that he mixed up his dog and his, his, uh, his kid's name? I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but I did and I thought it was a little, <laughs> a little funny, but yeah, people, um, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm inconclusive with this one. Let's continue. Here's a video from TikTok user, Lindsay Burke, who typically doesn't share anything related to the paranormal. However, during one of her TikTok videos, numerous viewers pointed out something eerie captured in the footage. Noticeably, while filming a brief video, a peculiar black figure materializes in the far background. Lindsay subsequently creates another video, clarifying the exact location where the ghostly figure appeared. Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick update. So I just want to show you what's in that room and maybe that will make things a little bit easier. So this is where I filmed that video in front of this window. And then if you turn around, this is that room. 
And we do have a weird attic here that I've never been into. Um, so this is my husband's gaming room, which is even weirder. And um, this space sort of here, just, yeah, just here, is where the shape was. And even weirder, on top of my hairdressing trolley down here, I have this, it's not real, it's fake. I bought it as a placemat. I don't have the planchet to it. It's never been used. Why are you... I don't now don't know what to do with it. I just use it to mix up bowls on top of. If you look at any of my hairdressing videos, I'm mixing all of my colours on top of no. this. Uh, what do I do with it? Someone give me advice. Lindsay. Bruh, bruh, listen, listen, listen. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Whoever sold you that board, sold you a haunted board. It's not no placemat. It is not no placemat. You just invited a, a whole whatever in, into into your into your house. How are you gonna just like you? Oh, that don't my people. That don't make no sense. What she needs to do is either burn it or or, or put it underwater. One one of the two things. But like that that is madness. And I was going to say like that was like maybe her husband or something like that. Um, you know, tired of her doing TikToks, and he was just like, "Let me, let me scare her out of doing TikToks." But like the fact that she had like a Ouija board just hanging out there and and using it, uh, bruh. Listen, could not be me. Uh uh, no, 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 no. Uh uh, mm mm. Better sage that house. To mix up bowls on top of. If you look at any of my hairdressing videos, mix I'm mixing all of my oh colors my on top of goodness. this. Uh, what do I do with it? Someone give me advice. Lindsay is currently uncertain about what to do with the Ouija board, as she wonders if it could have played a role in the strange occurrence. Regardless of whether it was genuine or not, she realizes that it could still be used for the same purpose. In a subsequent video, Lindsay finds herself alone at home once again, and this time, she hears something that sends shivers down her spine. the fuck and I'm home alone great why is it in turns the house? out that the microphone why is in the, in the same house? Room <laughs> where the figure was spotted started playing radio static on its own Bro, she's a first so one horror exactly movie. she's a first one in in a horror movie. oh my goodness she mentioned that she hasn't explored the I mean, go yet, and explore which like, could be the source of the, the strange occurrences additionally there's the presence of the Ouija board to consider Patrick from the Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations Channel. Oh, Lord. Travel to Oregon to explore the Mount Hood Resort, a location renowned the for Mount its frequent paranormal activity. Among the sites where supernatural occurrences are most commonly reported are the resort's restaurant and pub. Since the buildings are presently closed, Patrick seized the opportunity to conduct a solitary nighttime investigation. It didn't take long for him to capture something eerie on camera after entering. And when you come through here, a lot of dust. <laughs> um, okay, so this looks like it used to be like part of the. Um, Bro, why is there um, why is there no light in these? Like, like restaurant they area, be, like, and then big the ass bar lights. is actually back over there. Um, but I set up a rim pod. Uh, the spirit box is over there with the Tesla coil, and then there's another rim pod right here. Whoa. Right here. Whoa. What the hell was that? I don't know. What are you asking me? What the hell was that? Suddenly, Patrick was startled by a loud banging sound, followed by a woman's voice. Shortly after, he managed to capture this.
Will you come up and talk to me, please? What are you doing? Or can no. you touch one of these? Oh, God. Oh, that one got a hit. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I don't know what that was, but that was like a female sounding voice or something like squeak or something over there. Can you come up and tell me what your name is oh in this little box right God. here? Lord Jesus, help me. Help me. This guy is that killing me. Getting some hits right there. My name's Patrick. What's yours? Uh, sound like something shifted. On the count of three, can you try to grab one of these boxes that I have on the table? One, two, three. Oh, uh, nope, nope, oh, they nope, nope. Went off. That one. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Mm -mm. Thank mm -mm. you. Can you? Uh -uh. <laughs> How many <laughs> spirits are in here right now? Clearly more than one. Wow. Oh, more hits here. Can you can you go from this one to and can you go sit back over there? Or can you make that one go off now? Oh man. And that's like you look at that that's like a huge hit. Can you do that one more time, please? Oh my god, that's like almost on command. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. At one point, the camera captures the figure of a mysterious woman with long black hair peeking around the corner to look at Patrick before quickly vanishing without a trace. Is this a genuine ghost captured on camera at the haunted Mount Hood Resort, or is there a more rational explanation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That last one, man. That last one, my people. Listen. You play stupid games and you win stupid prizes. Rule number one is that you do not speak to the ghost. I don't know who made that rule, but I saw it in a movie once. And you don't speak to the ghost because that invites them, tethers them to the plane that you're on. Equalizing your existence. And then oh, there was more than, listen, this is why I don't mean doing the haunted houses, like staying overnight and you know, haunted, I, I, I can't, I can't because I'm not bringing no ghosts home with me. I am not bringing no ghosts. I've seen way too many movies, way too many movies, my people. <laughs> listen, don't be like these people. Don't be in a horror movie and uh, make sure you're using your brain, using your logic out here. Like don't be talking to ghosts. Don't be using Ouija boards as like mixtures for your die. Don't do none of that stuff, my people, because you're going to end up like, like these people that we're watching. You'll be haunted and maybe we'll, you'll end up on the internet. So I, I, and I'll be watching you reacting to your video too. So I don't know. It's a catch 22 for me. <laughs> Let me stop my people. Listen, enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.